winter storm is hitting our area again. Live team coverage coming up. A house fire in New Jersey leaves a home destroyed. A suicide bomber in Iraq leaves dozens of people dead. Those stories and more, plus Dave Lesko joins us with all the day's sports news. Good evening, I'm Eve Tannery. Brittany Westbrook is off tonight. And I'm John Durr. 69 News Weekend Edition starts now. Your life, your world, your news. This is 69 News Weekend Edition, live at 6. The snow has been falling for several hours. Will it switch to sleet, and will we end up with a situation similar to the storm that hit us on Valentine's Day? This is a live look at the road conditions on I-78 in Fogelsville. So far, much better than it was in the last storm. And we've got live team coverage tonight on this winter storm. 69 News meteorologists Ed Hanna and Mark Shannenberger will be giving us the most current information on what's going on outside. Let's start things off with Ed Hanna in the Weather Center. Hey, Ed. Guys, good to see you. Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you're doing well. At this point in time, we're going to continue to watch it. We've been saying, very interesting, the models leading up to this storm has been, have been suggesting kind of a mix of snow, starting as snow, then to sleet, some freezing rain, maybe ending as a bit of snow. As we've moved through the past couple of days, it looked pretty apparent. All the models jumping on board that the profile column of air above us would stay in support generally snow. And so as we've been moving through, we said one to three inches. It looked like it might be beefed up a little bit, three to five inches. And so there's a lot of things, a lot of variables, a lot of factors. You need to know one thing. We're here. we got team tuck coverage. We are watching every frame of the radar, all the latest model information. And I need to encourage you to stay tuned here. We'll be giving you updates here at 7, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And then, of course, be sure to tune into 69 News at 10 o'clock because we are on this for you, and I want you to stay with us. Let's tell you about the very latest daytime high today. We got to 31. We've now slip below that 29 degrees so we know the freezing mark 32 be careful out there even if things are wet of course they can freeze right now we're seeing this east southeast component very important the model suggesting that we go east northeast east that'll be significant later on this evening as you can clearly see throughout our viewing area everyone now including down Philly Burlington County back down on towards Newcastle Delaware you guys are all below the freezing mark so be careful out there couple of things huge big storm system here chunk of energy breaking off and we're seeing a secondary low bay basically over South Carolina right now. Now we're watching. Look at this gradient. You can see you get west of York back towards Harrisburg on the other side. There's really it's it's pretty much shut off at this point as dry air is coming on up and into our area. Question is what does this mean for our area as we move on through your evening hours? We'll tell you the very latest as far as the models as we've been analyzing it. We'll tell you that in just a little bit. But let's see what's going on outside right now. Mark Schinnenberger standing by. How are things looking out there, Mark? Yeah, thanks, Ed. Right now, it just picked up snowing a little bit once again. It was stopped about 15, 20 minutes ago when I was out here, but now has picked back up again. So far, I'd say we got about maybe a half an inch outside here on the boardwalk. And as we take a look at some of the area roadways from our sky cams, let's first bring up uh, the Redding sky cam, and we can take a look at how some of the area road, uh, roadways are there in Berks County. And we're getting a lot of reports of those roadways, in fact, or uh, in fact, the snow stopping over there for a time period. But as you can see on the sky cam right now, the snow has picked back up again, and you can see most of those roadways look wet now. If we can go over to the Easton Sky Cam or PPL building right there, you can see the reflection of the lights is coming off the roadway. So at times as we move through the overnight hours, that does have the possibility of freezing back over. So give yourself plenty of time. There's your Easton Cam, and you can see the same situation over there as well. And as Ed just mentioned, that snow going to continue well into our evening hours and overnight hours. So. Be prepared. Give yourself plenty of time if you're doing any traveling, either tonight or early Monday morning. Now back to you guys at the desk. Well, thanks, Mark. Now let's check on how this winter storm is affecting the roads. That's right. WFMC's Jackie Ferris joins us live from Interstate 78 and Route 100 in Fogelsville. Jackie. Well, good evening, everyone. We've got some sleet coming down here just off of 78 and 100. The roads are wet, but they are clear, and traffic is moving smoothly. Now, since Friday, PennDOT has been pre-treating major roads. Spokesmen say today's winter storm will not be a repeat of the last one. We have a full call out for this storm, roughly 228 trucks throughout the region, and we'll keep them. The trucks will stay on 24-7. The people will change every 10 to 12 hours. PennDOT says the big difference between this winter storm and the one that hit Valentine's Day is stronger communication and planning. They're changing shifts. They're all different. They're on the radio and uh, 
At PennDOT's Allentown Traffic Center, a larger than usual contingent is watching weather and road conditions captured by traffic cams across the valley. Meantime, PennDOT trucks are stationed at strategic locations. For the last two days, drivers have sprayed salt brine on the majors to prevent snow and ice from bonding. After we get one to two inches of accumulation, the blades will hit the pavement to clear the road. Then it's more salt brine and a call to the traffic center. We're asking every one of our foremen to report in about every two hours to give us the actual road condition uh, of the road surface. And we, if it's not a clearer road surface, we're going to be asking more questions as to why and what they need to get that done. And if we need to, we'll divert resources from the secondary roads onto the major highways to make sure they stay clear. Now, once again, the roads are wet. If you have any questions about road conditions, you can call PennDOT's hotline at 888 783 6783. And of course, if you have to go out, remember to pack an emergency kit. PennDOT says you should have one year round, but it's especially important when we are facing weather like this. Things you might want to remember food, water, blankets, a flashlight, and a radio. Now, those items are a minimum. You can also find out about this uh, emergency kit by going to the American Red Cross. We'll have much more for you coming up tonight at 10. Live in Fogelsville, Jackie Ferris, 69 News. Jackie, thanks. Well, the mayor of Allentown is taking a proactive approach to this winter storm. Mayor Ed Pulowski is asking residents to stay off the roads. He has also asked that people move their cars from the streets to make room for the plows, and residents are advised to be aware of temporary no parking zones. In the case the mayor issues a snow emergency, the snow emergency routes are listed on the website www.allentownpa.org. Any vehicles parked on these roads will be towed away.